this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to crochet this lovely, lovely stitch. I started a baby blanket. So what I did is I chained about 40 inches wide. Here's the front and here's the back. And I started to crochet. I didn't count how many chains I, I chained, but I chained about 40 inches and I have a little, this little bit left. So afterwards, while I was crocheting, I figured you need to chain multiple of um, six plus two chains to create this lovely, lovely stitch. Um, it looks like a weed. Weed? If you look at it, it looks like a weed. Weed spring. You know, when the weed grows. That's what it looks like. And it's these V's that we create. Okay, so uh, chain a multiple of six plus two. And let's get started on how to crochet this lovely uh, stitch. Okay, I'm going to use this yarn. It's a wool yarn that I have from my stash. And I'm going to just chain a couple of chain. Well, six times. Let's do three plus uh, two chains. So that would be uh, 18 plus two, 20 chains. And like I said, uh, I chained pretty long like this is pretty wide and I'm going to crochet as long as I need I just fell in love with this stitch and I wanted to share it because it's different and it gives you that uh, 3d look if you look at it see I would not recommend this for new beginners <laughs> oh no 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 not for new beginners but if you know how to do front post you are welcome to and if you want to challenge yourself you are welcome to it's that for new beginners if you just started to crochet in the past three months i wouldn't recommend the, this uh just uh, i would say at least two years of uh crocheting different stitches you are welcome to but if you want to challenge yourself yeah why not okay so i am going to grab my uh, biggest crochet hook because uh uh, I am going to crochet 20 stitches. Let me get this screen a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so I am using the biggest crochet hook. So I'm going to chain 20. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I'm grabbing a smaller crochet hook, 4.5. Um, yeah, that one was a big one. Just don't want it to, to pull. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, the first row, we're going to be doing single crochets. That's all we're doing, nothing different. On each chain, we're going to be doing single crochets. All the way to the end. This is the first time I'm uh, working with this yarn. It's pretty soft. So I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I crocheted single crochet all the way to the end, last chain. I am going to chain three, turn my work, and then on this next uh, single crochet, I'm going to make double crochet, second double crochet, third double crochet, four double crochet, okay, and then one more. So we do five double crochet, we do one chain, we skip one, and on the next one, we continue making five double crochet all the way to the end that's all we do two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet 
and then the fifth double crochet. Okay, this is how it looks like. Chain one, skip one, one, two, three, four, It looks like I did extra here. Yeah. See right here, I did an extra single crochet. I shouldn't be doing that one. Okay, let me count. I must have done extra single crochets. It happens. We're all human being, right? Okay, let's count this. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Hmm, that is odd. It's a multiple of 6 plus 2. 6 times 3 is 18. Chain 3. Let's do this one more time. Okay. I'm going to do it over again and I'll meet you at the end. So we do is five double crochets, one chain. And we skip one when we do the one chain. I don't know why that happened. Four, five, chain one, skip one and go to the next one. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. I'm sorry. So uh, what, what you, I would advise you to do is multiple 6 plus 1 because it's not working. So you should have 19. If you're going 3 times 6, 18 plus uh, 1 stitch. Okay, so um, at the beginning you should have total of 6 including the 3 chain. So 5 double crochets and... Uh, the three chain and the middle should be five uh, double crochets and one chain between and you skip one okay here i skipped two but just uh, ignore that because i need to have enough uh, room here so uh, i i would advise multiple of six plus one not two it's not working okay so i did my fifth five double crochets and on the last one i do a double crochet we should have six at the end yeah, I'm going to turn my work and then what we're going to do is so we don't do a single crochet here we skip that and then we do a single crochet on the second so two three four five okay, and then we chain one we skip this part and then we do single crochets on top of double crochets just like this We chain one. And then we do single crochets. So just count if you're four four if you're if you're lost four. So we have two four five and then I do it on top of this chain and then I chain three to go up two three okay now we're going to start making those V's that I showed you Let me grab the sample okay so we're going to create these V's this yarn I bought it from Svetlana from Turkey I believe it's a, it's like a Caron cake yarn that's what it feels like and uh, it's a little bit thinner oh no i didn't buy it from Lena. i bought it from ebru from ankara ankara it's the capital of city of turkey so uh she's a uh, she's the lady who sells yarn so this is the yarn that i bought from her 
she said it's blend of wool but it doesn't it's very soft and it's shiny as you can see so i'm going to be creating these v's okay to do that what we need to do is here we're going to make a double crochet but we're not going to pull the two loops we're going to leave it and then we're going to go yarn over twice okay and right here you can see five double crochets right in the middle on the third we're going to do a front post just like this we're going to pull two we're going to pull two and the remaining three we're going to pull three okay and then we're going to go yarn over so we're going to hold it like this and you can see the next uh the single crochet we're going to make a double crochet so in between we need to make a total of three double crochets two three okay we're going to do it again we're going to do uh the v the other v so we're going to do two loops and then we're going to come to the same where the three the third uh, double crochet is in the middle and then we're going to do a front post again two two but we don't pull the remaining two and then what we do is we come to the last one here oops come here and then we make it double crochet pull one and then we pull the remaining three okay as you can see we're trying to make five double crochets here right here that's the reason we're not pulling together if we pull then it would be there would be more um spaces here seven it would be seven so that's the reason we're pulling it two together to just create five double crochets in between okay and uh, we only do the v's in between the third this is the third here in the middle that's how we grab it we do a front post so that's very important so don't miss that one okay so i'm going to chain one and i'm going to repeat what i just did so i'm going to skip right here you can see that and then right here i'm going to make a double crochet but i'm not going to pull the two loops and then i'm just going to come between count there's five double crochets right in the middle i'm going to make a front post pull two pull two oh I have to do two loops don't forget that yarn over twice okay pull two pull two and then pull the three together okay and then we repeat it we make three double crochets right after the next one oh, you can see there's a space here one oh a yarn two three okay we do twice and then we hold it we pull two we pull two we don't pull the two so we go and then we do a double crochet we pull two and then with the three loops we pull three together see nice nice and soft okay and then we repeat it repeat it over and over so again chain one make a double crochet don't pull the remaining two two loops and then go in between make a front post pull two pull two and then pull the three together go back make double crochet two then three then make a long v okay go to the next one pull two and then pull together and then we make a, our last uh it's tough but it's here right here we make a double crochet we chain one Okay, and then we repeat what we did so the first row we did single crochet the second row we did double crochet the third row we did single crochet the third uh, not the third 
one, two, three, fourth row, we did um, double crochets and we create V. So the next row is going to be single crochet. Two, three, four, five, chain one, skip this space and go to the next one. So five double crochets, chain one, five double, uh, I'm sorry, five single crochet. So we've got four and then the fifth. Chain one, one, two, three, four, five. Don't forget always the edge is going to be six when you count it. So come right here and then chain, uh, make a single crochet, chain three. So we repeat what we did, pulling. <laughs> we make our double crochet but we don't pull the remaining two and then we grab we do two loops and we come between here in the middle and we do a front post we pull two two and then pull the remaining three and again we make our double crochet two three okay again two loops and then we come here and we make the other side so we do one left one right and we don't pull the remaining two that's very okay, where are we here we are pull two and then we pull the remaining three and then we repeat this chain one skip one make the double crochet but don't pull the two and right here in the middle right here so you can see it it's here right here pull two i forgot to do two loops so do two loops we have to pull two two so we pull two we pull two then we'll pull the th three and then you just bend this towards you and then you will see the next uh, single crochet you make a double crochet one two three two loops one two don't pull the remaining two and then go to the next one two and pull the two okay I think it looks nice on this yarn too so as, as if you you can see first we do the double crochet but we don't finish it we finish it with uh, creating the v and then we do three double crochets and then here we create the other side of the v then we'll finish it up with the double crochet it's very elegant and uh yeah so i chain one I skip one double crochet two loops come in the middle pull two pull two and then pull two together so i just kind of bend it towards me to see the next uh here it's right there on single crochet i make double crochets two three pull make a front post two two leave the remaining two and then try to make this as loose as you can and pull the two because uh it's tough here just go between okay so the next row is going to be a single crochet turn your work and you continue repeating this over and over until the length that you need that's all you do 
and this is how it looks like from the back and this is how it looks like from the front nice very nice see it's pulling it because uh because of creating these front posts it's it's pulling so it's always uh nice to work with a bigger crochet hook i think this crochet hook is a little bit small maybe i should go with a five or even a five and a half because uh yeah it is uh so where was i here i am so i did i am doing my single crochets that yarn is thicker than this just continue making my single crochets and always count four and then make my fifth one chain one skip one and then go to the next so i hope you like this tutorial it's very easy actually but i wouldn't advise for uh, beginners maybe they will get lost here somewhere but it's it is very easy and it looks nice look you can make a cardigan sweaters well i'm making a baby blanket but um in the near near future because this yarn is uh pretty nice i might work a uh, top for myself it is nice see yeah so uh let me just finish this row and uh, I will come and show you again one more time. So let's chain one, skip one, two, always go back and count, three, four, five, chain one, one, two, three, four and then the fifth okay so let me finish this row see uh when you're do when we're doing the single crochet we work on the back if you get lost and when we're doing the v's we work it from the front <sighs> okay let me finish this row and i'll be right back okay so i am almost at the end i did my single crochet chain one skip one well, you do it automatically the more you uh, crochet. And you can see three, four, five. And again, I said at the beginning and at the last, you need to make six. So right here where the three chain is, I make my single crochet so it would be nice and straight. I chain three to go up. So we count this one as a sing uh, double crochet. And I come here and I make my double crochet, but I don't pull the two loops. I do yarn over twice. And here, where the third chain is, I make a front post. And I pull two. I pull two and I leave the remaining three. Well, no, I pull three together, I'm sorry. And then I kind of gently bend it towards myself. And then I see that space there. I make a double crochet. One, two, three. I do yarn over twice. And then again, I do a front post on the same. Double crochet, pull two, pull two, leave the remaining two. And then yarn over and then go to the last one here. Pull two and pull the remaining three chain one skip one and we repeat this skip one here we go double crochet pull leave the two yarn over just like this and you crochet as long as as long as you want the height that you need one two three okay this is how it looks like twice double crochet when i finish this 
I am going to show you a new uh, border, but it's going to take me a while because <laughs> I have so many whips in my uh, hand at the moment. I, I need to get rid of these. I have a bucket here full of at least six whips. So I need to finish them. So after I uh, finish this blanket, I will come back and I will show you how to do a border. But I do have borders. If you go into my videos and type border, all the border edge borders will come. And uh, yeah. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's very nice, unique, one of a kind. And it looks elegant, gives you that 3D look. Nice for a baby blanket. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. Happy crocheting. Stay home. Stay safe. Take care, everybody.